I just want to see how, and I don't want to overwork it, but I might just see how the rest of the foot's going as well in areas like this. So again, I want to pay attention to the amount of pressure and intensity of the techniques I'm using is how much can she still keep that deep breathing, releasing going, yeah? So just warming up a bit, I might keep And I'm gonna come in again on this side of the toe, just to warm it up because I know her toe is being pulled this way. And uh, again, some of this area in reflexology can relate to the, the tightness in her jaw. But I'm also aware that it was worked yesterday, so again, I'm just making sure that it's not too much for her. So before I use any tools too, I like to warm the area up with my fingers. Uh, using tools on a cold foot can be quite uncomfortable. Is it sore from yesterday, Danielle? Or yeah, a little bit. A little bit sore from yesterday? Or a lot? I'm not going to focus too much on that big toe because I already did a bit of that. I'm going to come to these next toes. And I'll show you how to do that later, the pulling of the toes. And again, warming the toe up before I use any, any sort of chopstick. Is it okay if we take your sock off? Just do a little bit more on this big toe and again stretching it to the side so because it has a tendency to go this up this way and this way I want to stretch it in its opposite but again being aware that it can be a bit sore from the work we did on it yesterday so I'm going to come into this next toe so my job here or my, my plan here basically is to try and get rid of all the tension or as much as tension as I can on this entire foot during this treatment let's just say I had an hour and a half or two hours then I would come in and so working the very tip of a toe is a very um, it, it requires a lot more skill than it looks because it's a very charged point like you wouldn't think if you didn't understand what I'm doing that this would be quite so intense but it's a very intense point so mostly what I'm doing is holding it, letting her breathe into it, and let go of that blockage that can be in there. And occasionally then I'm moving it, either side to side, or even just changing the angle. And you can see just those subtle changes, it's quite intense, it produces quite an intense feeling. But it's the, it's the end of the band, okay? So right here, right here, it's the end of several bands. So it's a very important spot. And I can feel how tight it is on the side here. And my first run over, I don't wanna, again, I wanna make sure I'm working within her limits, but I'm really aware of how tight it is through here. Okay, and then I can come in and do a bit of a first run over on the other side as well. Because you can see I'm, you know, I am getting to her uh, threshold fairly quickly, where she's starting, you know, she can, Pull away, so we're up near the eights and nines. This is very tight. <sighs> I also encourage you as a practitioner to make sure that your deep breathing, obviously not exhaling on the person, but you're setting the tone of the breath, just like in a room, one person might sigh and it makes other people sigh. The same here, but we're wanting to, because sometimes people can have a tendency to, you know, hold their breath or breathe uh, shallow. Whereas if we're setting the tone of the breath by making sure that we're breathing deep, that's gonna inspire them. Plus, if you pick up energy during the treatment from the person, you're gonna get rid of some of that by your own deep breathing. So I'm coming back to this spot. 
and just holding that, letting her breathe into it. So I'm tuning into both what I call the micro picture, which is right here, and the macro picture, which is the whole person, and seeing how she's handling it, because these are very intense spots, and that I'm not overworking her, but I'm aware too that energy can be moving, because we're, we're really getting into the ends of the bands here. You can see how intense that is. How's that pressure for you? Okay. Yep. And I'm, now I'm, I'm very slightly creating a sort of rotation in there. And you can see it's very, very small, but it's moving stuff. So you really want to have a good sense of awareness um, when you're using chopsticks or any pointed instrument. And the type of chopstick I use has a rounded edge to it, not like a, 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 blunt, a, a kind of like 90 degree angle. So now I'm going down the back band of this toe. And I stopped using chopsticks at about this part of the foot. Okay. Again, we can now see that that's a lot, you know, getting some flexibility into it. I can come in with my fingers now and just roll the bands a little bit either way to help them release. And I can move the joint side to side. So I'm holding below that joint there and I'm holding below this joint and then moving it so that I'm keeping it isolated to one joint. I'm getting some flexibility into there. It's a bit hard because she's. Like, what's that? What's the feeling for the person? Like how? You... How does it feel for you? She has trouble okay. speaking right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on how tight they are. Yeah. So the tighter they are, the more uncomfortable that is. And and, and the older a person is with more arthritic kind of conditions, that'll be extremely. Like painful. Un... Yeah. Yeah. And we have to work within that threshold so it's not overwhelming for them. It's sort of like um. So it sounds like we need to come back to the big toe. <laughs> so I'll come back to this spot here because this is like, again such an important spot that it's taken me a long time to learn about this spot. I'm just going to hold that and let her breathe into it. And I'm actually, I can actually project my own energy like a laser beam into a chopstick to make it even more intense. I'm sure she can feel that. So it's like a, a little laser and then moving it slightly. So it's one of the most fine arts actually of understanding this kind of massage is how to use these chopsticks. And you, you, pro, you, you know, unless you can feel like what trapped energy feels like, it's going to be very hard to understand. But eventually, see, trapped energy will become very physical. Like, even by here, you can feel it as a band. But in here, it's hard to feel for somebody that doesn't, can't feel trapped energy. But here, it's very physical. So you can see how I'm flicking over that tight band. That's where it feels like whatever it is, is trapped. And interestingly, in reflexology, that's around the throat. And neck area. <laughs> so what I can do is just come into here and then bend the toe and get and then just kind of work it a little bit more and even just again project that energy like a laser beam. Anything I pick up I'm kind of breathe out. And then I can I can it feels like 
I don't know, like, I can feel like stale, like, like I feel like coming off of her. It feels mm. like there's something coming off of her. Yeah. In, in terms of, like, when you're saying the macro, because, like, so we're trying to go in terms of pain threshold, like, so she's wiggling around a bit and stuff. So, like, with all your experience, like, because their natural thing is to take her, like, if someone's pain, pain, you want to kind of release it. Yeah, how are you kind of knowing, like, um, when Because she's shaking and wriggling. <laughs> yeah. Which means I'm getting close, but she's not pulling her foot away. Yeah, so pulling the foot pulling away. Pulling the foot away is, is where it's, she can't handle anymore. I'm working close to her threshold. Okay. There's a shaking, and I've, you know, and she's even said, I can, you know, I've, yeah. I've questioned her. It's on the edge. Would, yeah. would you say that's right? Yeah. I'm on the edge, yeah? Yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. 